Hello, my name's Hannah Moore. I'm an audio producer on The Guardian's Today in Focus podcast. I don't think most people understand what an audio producer does, to be honest. I think people understand what a presenter does, and a lot of people have uh, an idea that the presenter kind of does all the planning and everything themselves, and then it gets sent off to somebody else, like some editor, not to be self-aggrandizing, but we're kind of driving the whole thing. We pitch ideas, we plan the interviews, we cut the interviews, we think about the sound design, we bring in archive, um, we have to think about all the legal elements of it. So um, yeah, it's always it's always interesting when you describe to people what an audio producer does and they're kind of like, oh wow, oh, you're quite involved. I do think that you have to think differently when you're doing something for audio. You have to think right from the start, what is going to be that compelling piece of sound that people are gonna hear at the start of an episode and want to keep listening. I made an episode a few months ago uh, about the effects of Brexit on musicians and we interviewed Arlo Parks and Nitin Sawney. And um, Nitin was just great value all the way through, but especially when he went on a five minute monologue about when he'd been um, chased by a plague of locusts when he was DJing at this festival somewhere. Unfortunately, that didn't fit quite with the with the storyline about Brexit and um, the state of UK music. There was a, an investigation that I put together last year um, looking at the way that models are treated or mistreated within the industry. We got testimony from two models um, who told us some really quite surprising and awful things about the way they'd been treated. And we also got to speak to John Horner, who is one of the heads of one of the top modeling agencies. And um, I mean, have a listen to the episode, but I think what he says um, is quite astounding. I never ever expected I would be able to get into it because I didn't know anybody who worked in the media in any way um, and I grew up in the Midlands and I thought my image of a journalist was um, an upper middle class or upper class person um, who lived in London and had got there through connections. I just had not the first idea of how to get into journalism and so my advice would be don't discount yourself. There are lots of routes to get in there and we need your voices. The way some of our journalists work over years and years and just keep hammering away at stories, you know, I'm thinking about somebody like Amelia Gentleman, the way she pursued the Windrush story. I think that's really special and you don't get that sort of journalism in every news organisation. I'm just always inspired by what our journalists are doing. In this country, we're going through a period of, sadly, a lot of news organisations being under threat in different ways. And it's so, so important that if you want to see independent journalism continuing, that you support it now, because it will not be here without your support. Click the link below to find out more about supporting Guardian Journalism.